Hey, good to have yours, though. Yeah. Hey, Whiskers and Charlotte. Been happy in there. This is about as best we're going to get around here. No concrete floor, because there is an easement here. The easement goes back to about here, I think. The sewer goes right through there, so we can't put concrete here. Damn it, anyway. Put this in the veranda up to protect all the storage behind here. So I could do on occasion a mop fly up behind here. Fly things to earth behind here. It's got a farm in the store with my stuff, but uh, I'll find a way. Anyway, I could, but I can put a portable here, like a caravan for example. I could put a caravan there, like I had before, with a man cave like that sort of setup. Have something like this over the caravan, I can do that, but as far as building the shed, no, can't. Can't put concrete on the easement. So we're stuck there. Uh, we've got a workbench I'll put under here. Our old uh, steel workbench where my shed's got to go here. I'm going to put a veranda over that and probably put it here and put a veranda over it. Let's try and get this stump out of the way though. Hey, cat. Oh, cute. Hey, kitty's got to say hello. Charlotte. Hey Max. This was made in 2010, Malaysia. This was here when the uh, five year old unit. It's not, it's okay, but it could be cold, uh, better. I think it, it's just a little bit too, I reckon it's a tiny bit too small for the size room we're going to do. It does a job, but the room's a little bit too big for it. It does take a bit of effort to cool, to cool oh, I haven't tried air cooling yet side of it, but the heat side just takes ages to get the room warm enough. So for a room as big as this one here is, we we'll probably need a bigger unit than that. That's all I got. It's quite a big ass area that has to heat up that one little unit. It's okay, but. It's manageable. A bit cheap than me, but I cleaned the filters out when I bought the place. They're a bit dirty. Yeah, it could be warmer that far saw in the room. Just a little bit too small for a big ass room like this. Anyway. I've uh, got the floor to do yet. The guy's unreliable. We'll see who's in the cupboard. We rang him five times a year. We'll come, we'll come. He hasn't came yet. Tiles that I have done that, they did the tiles. So it's all coming together quite nicely. Good Australian made clips or power points. I kept the old ones at Ernie, so they all, they're all single that, that HPMs, original ones from the 80s. And there was a three one, one and a switch in the middle that had a, that was for the uh, tinkerator. But the sparky took that power point. I kept the one that was here, that's on the BOZ. So we're going to tile all this, tile there, seal this up, tile here, that will be done. That's going to be done yet, this floor's crap. Now the bathroom has been done. And the showers are nice and new. That's pretty much all that needs doing. Give it a tail and she's good to go. Anyway. I could have uh, okay, yours, well, I wasn't going to make this a separate video, but I'll probably pull this into the one edited together video. I'm going to uh, add this uh, breaker to my BAZ, stick it right there. 40 amps of max support out of this thing, so. <laughs> I've laid that thing twice as much for not very long as it's going to hurt the BAZ. As you've seen in the past, I've uh, put 40 amps in that BAZ for short bursts in case I could have hurt it. But I've got a 60 amp breaker here, which will, uh, should trip on a short. If I stuff something up, it's going to trip for extra safety. Uh, if I had a double one of these, 
which I don't have a double enclosure, I might have to get one. I've got a nice that I can put on this thing. But it's only a 10 amp one. I've got a, a, a 20 amp RCD, but that's a three phase one. I need a, a three phase enclosure for uh, one of those um, cases there to put a uh, three phase one in. That's the only one I got in stock. Unless I, I may look on eBay for a good clipsel. I'm not going to go to Buddings or Masters or buy their crap or buy decent clips or breakers. They get a proper, uh, I reckon I could put a 38 breaker in this. Um, but yeah, the only space that I only pull 20 amp maximum from a domestic wall socket. But yeah, the sub protection is better than nothing. Alright, I've got the capacitor out of that old air conditioner. I've got a still fresh. 1979, they're both dated. These two here, this is a 5 micro found made in Japan by Panasonic. Genuine branded capacitor as, as a unit. And a 45 micro found. Still pretty juicy in there, so that should be okay. I also got this out of the uh, Simpson washing machine that was in the um, scrap metal bin. And there was two dishwashers ripped the capacitors out of two. 2000, and yeah. 2000 this washing machine that this was this came out of. And they'll look like an earlier 90s model, but this could have been a replacement motor. I took the whole motor out so I can get this pulley off to fit that motor should we need it. It's good to have. Get this capacitor I've washed and I think it should fit that motor. And that big big red GMF motor I got in the back there and they buried under all that stuff. This capacitor will fit that and this should start it. This is the correct capacitor that motor I had originally so Hopefully this will start that big motor. Alright, I'll take this to the house so that little uh, Quantum Park or some over and give it a test. Beautiful. Here's a motor out of that exhaust fan out of the house and I bought the house. It had a, um, an old Lanco exhaust fan in the rangehood. The plastic all crumbled away. Here's a motor that was left there. Kept the motor out of it. It's not even a shaded pole to up. It's a commercial type motor. That's worth holding on to. It's seized up since the last use. The grease has gone all hard, but it did run. Anyway, let's uh, get some projects going. Yeah, so I got this old terminal block off uh, an old stove from the late 60s that was sitting in the skip, the rubbish skip. Missing two screws that I'll fix that. Handy these old uh, terminal blocks. Ceramic, old ceramic one too. I'll use that. Got a cord grip. Uh, capacitor from my old uh, late 80s dish legs, which I wish they wouldn't have scrapped. Unfortunately, they got damaged and broken. It was sitting out in the weather for a while anyway. This came off a uh, late 90s, early 2000s dish legs, I think this one. My 99. Yeah, six micro favorite. We'll try those ones and the air conditioner ones, see which one of these is best for that motor. Anyway, uh, have some lunch now and uh, next video we're doing, uh, now I get a chance I'll be doing this. Some projects. Thanks for watching.